Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of Tooth Teacher Tuesday. As always, I am your host, Dr. Steven Zahm, coming to you from our, uh, at the time of this recording, our spring break. And uh, it's raining and thundering pretty good out, so pardon any rumbles you might hear in the background. But jumping into today's topic, um, a little bit of a follow-up to something we talked about a few weeks back. Um, you know, we previously talked about, you know, crowns and root canals, how they kind of go hand in hand and how a lot of times because root canals make teeth more fragile, more hollow, we usually recommend doing a crown afterwards. Not always, but usually. So today's topic is answering another common question I get is, what are some other reasons that we would crown teeth? other than root canals. And so to give you just the big picture, broad overview, there are a number of, of reasons. I would say probably root canal is maybe the second most common reason we would recommend doing a crown. The most common reason above that would simply be that a tooth is either chipped or an old filling has chipped that trying to fix that chipped tooth with a simple filling just isn't necessarily feasible or predictable. You know, if, if just a tiny little spot on a tooth chips, then a filling can usually fix it. But if we're missing a whole big chunk of a tooth, like a quarter of a tooth, then could we fill it? Yes, but long-term, is that going to last? Probably not. And so that's the number one reason we would crown a tooth is to restore it in a way that a filling simply can't. You know, fillings are strong, but crowns are even stronger. And so by crowning teeth, we give them a longer life and give them that extra strength they need to be able to function throughout the day with your regular wear and tear and chewing and grinding and, and all of that. So just simple restoration of a large broken filling or tooth is one reason to crown a tooth. Another besides a root canal would simply be that we're trying to accomplish something cosmetically. Um, you know, People talk a lot about veneers, which veneers are basically just partial coverage crowns. They tend to just be crowns that cover the front half of the teeth that are involved in your smile. And so, but you know, crowning front teeth for aesthetic purposes is also an option. Um, a little bit more expensive versus veneers, um, but gives you that same outcome only difference is, is that the whole tooth is being covered and the reason you would do a veneer versus a crown in an aesthetic case is kind of a deep rabbit hole to go down not something i want to get into um, especially just for the the average person that isn't doing dentistry day to day um, but cosmetics essentially is another reason that we would crown a tooth um, Beyond that, some other thoughts that come to mind is, you know, we might crown a tooth because you know, you've got either just naturally a space between your teeth or you've got a filling that was done either recently or a long time ago that just doesn't quite butt up against its neighboring tooth. And so there's a gap there and it's causing food to get caught. And, you know, again, could you close that gap with the filling? Yes. But if that gap is very wide, you're asking a lot of that filling. Again, fillings are strong, but not as strong as crowns. So when you think crowns, you're thinking better strength and better aesthetics than a filling. And so the same is true anytime we're trying to close gaps between teeth, whether that be front teeth, back teeth. It's another reason we would crown a tooth. And then you know, the final reason that that comes to mind, actually 
two that come to mind. Um, another reason to crown a tooth would be if, if that tooth is kind of hurting, may or may not have a filling, but it's, it's hurting when you chew and, you know, looking at the tooth, we can see that there are some cracks, maybe big cracks, small cracks, but a crack in the tooth nonetheless that's allowing, you know, flexing when you're biting and allowing cold and hot air to get in there and creating pain in that tooth. Be another reason to crown a tooth is to basically bond that tooth together almost in a, in a bear hug and keep those cracks together to see how the tooth responds. A lot of times crowning teeth with cracks will take away your symptoms. Now, as we kind of talked about with the root canal, episode sometimes that doesn't take care of the pain and then that tooth eventually needs a root canal um, so that's one other reason final reason that comes to mind for crowning teeth is sometimes it makes sense to crown teeth when we're planning on doing some kind of removable partial denture you might also hear them referred to as flippers partials um, you know, basically just false teeth that aren't a full set of dentures, but um, a partial set that lock onto your remaining natural teeth. And sometimes we want to crown those remaining natural teeth doing what's called a survey crown, which again, without going down a deep rabbit hole, basically contours those teeth, puts in the necessary grooves and other features in those teeth that don't exist naturally, but that we want to be present in order to help that partial denture lock in nice and tight to those teeth and stay in well without having to use any adhesive or, you know, having them flop in and out when you're trying to talk or eat. And so, yeah, that's several reasons why we would crown a teeth, you know, to bring things full circle. Many different reasons to do so. Those are certainly the most common reasons. None, no other reasons come to mind at the moment but um so hope you find that helpful um certainly you know if if your dentist recommends a crown to you it's probably for one of those reasons so you know hopefully with a better understanding of that you will understand that maybe they're not just trying to get you to do dental work that's not necessary so um yeah, hope that clears up some misconceptions. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, recommendations, please, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Otherwise, have a great week, and we will see you on next week's Tooth Teacher Tuesday. Enjoy your week.